I can't believe I'm changing shirts just to make this look like it's filmed on another day. Welcome to our Video Benchmark series. Today we are going to have a look at a new addition to our database of Video Benchmarked computers. A Lenovo ThinkCenter M81. It's running Windows 10 64-bit and the rest of the specs are not too shabby either. It has Intel Core i5 2400 series quad-core processor, 12GB of DDR3 memory, 240GB SSD from the other world computing, two regular hard drives for data and backup with capacities of 250 and 320 gigabytes. For graphics we are using our older AMD Radeon HD6670. This graphics card has 480 processing cores. We tested this computer for rendering speed with the same version of Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2015 like all the other computers before. And the results were quite good. For now it ended up being the fastest rendering computer running Windows version of Premiere Pro. The 1080p sample was done rendering in 3 minutes 38 seconds. And the 4K sample was done in 9 minutes 38 seconds. When we look at the 1080p rendering times of all our computers, we see it lands second, right behind the iMac 2014 that was running macOS and Final Cut version 10.2. The situation is the same when we look at the 4K rendering times, it lands right after the iMac 2014 again. There is something I need to mention though. We have been testing on Windows 10 in September 2015. With the before mentioned hardware, there were some serious issues with Premiere, but also with After Effects. For example, in Premiere, it would not replace the clip with a sequence from After Effects. The whole switch to After Effects would just crash. In After Effects, something basic like video playback was not possible due to errors all the time. And of course, we made sure we are running on the latest drivers, have all the Windows and Premiere updates, but it did not make a difference. Long story short, we ended up switching back to Windows 7 to be able to use this machine as our main video editing machine. So let us know in the comments below if you are having issues running Premiere on Windows 10 too. Alright, if you hated this video, you know what to do, but if you found it useful, click that like button or even subscribe for future episodes. May the video editing patience be with you.